This presentation on interactive math journaling can be used to gain information or to start, pause, and restart as you create your own journal during the video. The objectives of this PowerPoint are to look at the multiple aspects of journaling, to create a framework for journaling, and to look at examples of student work. So who should use math journals? Well, if you said all students K-12, you're exactly correct. But why do we journal? Well, for students, journaling helps them keep up with their work, especially after absences. It promotes creativity and organizational skills, provides a study guide, shows their progress over time, and is a central place to keep their work. For the teacher, journaling helps make conceptual connections and can be used as a formative assessment tool. It is motivational and it is also an organizational tool and is a repository of saved student work for resource examples. For the parent, journaling is a sample of student work where the parent can see what their child is learning. This gets the parent involved in the learning process as a tool to help their child study or to start communication regarding what the child is learning. Do students need to share their writing? Absolutely. When students share their writing, they are kept accountable. They are provided with an incentive for learning. They experience and develop the skill of expressing their thoughts and strategies verbally, and they hear and explore the strategies and techniques of other learners. So how do I introduce math journaling into my classroom? Any ideas? Well, Model, model, model. And how do I get started journaling? The following is the framework for journaling. Each piece will be elaborated on as we continue. You want to choose a type of book, set guidelines for students, decide how to number pages, create pockets, begin a table of contents, use the last four pages for your index, and let students personalize. If you are making a sample journal, journal from cardstock for later reference, you will need to use the instructions on this page. Please pause and follow the instructions that are listed here. However, if you are making a journal using a spiral notebook or composition book, you can skip this page. Personalizing journals is essential. Be sure to have art supplies to allow students to personalize the cover and title page. Here are some examples. The cover can be created on colored paper and then protected with wrapping tape if you are using spiral notebooks or composition books. Be sure to clarify expectations for what you want included, such as name, subject, class period, or so on. When creating the journal cover, you'll want to have the following supplies on hand. Use a variety of decorative paper from sources such as scrapbook stores, wallpaper stores, wrapping paper scraps, stickers, clip art, magazine pictures, or just magazine art letters, and personalized drawings to decorate the journal cover. This is a sample of the guidelines you could use with your class. It should be placed on the inside front cover for easy reference later. However, be sure to look over the list and make any changes that will reflect your personal expectations for your students. These are samples of the title page. Notice that the guidelines are on the left opposite the title page, which is the first page in your journal. Be sure to clarify for students what exactly you expect to be on the title page and model your sample journal the same way. On the front of the next page, after the title page, begins the table of contents. What you have students label the columns depends on the class. After creating the table of contents, count five pages after the table of contents and clip them together. This gives room for the table of contents throughout the year. Next, you'll want to decide how to number pages. There are multiple ways illustrated here on how to number pages. Decide how you want your students to number pages. If your students are consistent in numbering pages, it will help with future reference between students in the table of contents as well as making your grading process more efficient.
The index will be created in the back of the journal and is a useful tool when students need to find a term or concept which they previously studied. The index can be added to each time a new term or concept is introduced. Under the ABCs at the top of the term or concept and its corresponding page number are included. For example, functions and its page number are to be listed under F or ratio and its page number are listed under R. So what content should be included in an interactive math journal? Every single lesson that students complete should not be included. Basically, an interactive math journal should include anything that students may need to use as reference material later. This slide includes some suggestions of content and tools that teachers use in journaling. The journal is designed based on the needs of each teacher's students and varies based on content area and grade level. But basically, anything that students may need to use as reference material later should be included and used in a math journal. Pockets can be created on the inside back cover for materials that will be reused frequently, such as flashcards for facts, rulers, and reference materials such as formula charts. They can also be used throughout the journal as needed for specific activities. Pockets can be created using recycled envelopes, baggies, index cards, cardstock, clasp envelopes, and paper or plastic CD cases. The traditional fair model should not be used with every vocabulary term. Use it only when you have definite examples and non-examples of the term. Also, when teachers are first introducing their fair model to their students, they should provide the definition and characteristics for the students, and then do the examples and non-examples together as a whole class activity. Pictures or words can be used for examples and non-examples. This representation is a four-corner modification of the traditional fair model that can be used for algebra and algebra readiness concepts in your math interactive journal. These are examples of activities that can be included in an interactive math journal. Spiral reviews or warm-ups or performance indicators are used by some teachers and stored behind a tab which students create with a file folder cut to fit the journal. Activities which students need to return to later for practice, such as the 10 frames activity in the center of this page, can hold the manipulatives in a pocket with the corresponding worksheet below under a flap. Other examples are measure the lizard and comparing two shapes. This time, materials are kept in pockets on the left with other tools needed for the activity located on the right of the open page. Here are some more examples of interactive activities that can be included in a math journal. They can be used both for reference materials as well as continued practice when needed. The clock, inequalities activity, and geoboard all use brads in their creation. More examples for journaling include creating rotations and reflections with construction paper, nets for 3D views of solid figures, and notes for concept development such as these examples using the conversion for gallons, quarts, and pints, or notes on operations under a foldable, as well as notes on polygons with the figure on top and the notes below. The fair model is used here to provide reference material on the concept of congruence, includes a student-created definition, characteristics of an example and non-example, and below that is a sample of the concepts of numbers along with examples using stickers. Straws can be used to demonstrate intersecting perpendicular and parallel lines, as well as angles created by parallel lines and their transversal. A straw stuck through the plane could also illustrate a plane intersecting a line. Symmetry is illustrated with a colored butterfly. It's critical to keep it all together. This is one method that can be used to keep student journals together as they grow. Another suggestion is a rubber band that is looped through a hole punched in the back cover and then used to mark or hold together pages. A ribbon can also be used similarly to mark pages. And finally, there are things to remember. Remember it's important to keep a sample journal, journal for student and teacher reference. If you choose to grade journals, you will need a key. Also, students that are absent can use your journal for makeup work. In parent-teacher conferences, you will have both student journals to share, as well as your original that clarifies classroom expectations. Student ownership is critical. 
Many teachers share that students are unwilling to give up their journals at the end of the year and want to take them home. Some teachers allow students periodically to use their journals on quizzes or tests to increase its value. The journal is an excellent reference for students as well as a tool of formative assessment that teachers can use to show evidence of student learning. And now you begin. Hopefully this presentation has provided you with a framework for your interactive math journal as well as simple ideas that can be used throughout the school year. You may want to begin by including the sample activity that you will first include as you begin journaling this year with your students or creating foldables you know you will need during the upcoming six weeks or nine weeks. Enjoy!